It's a good thing that some geniuses are working hard to bring about significant change for the world, from plastic-eating bacteria to devices enabling telepathy between humans and machines. Here are 15 genius inventions that should exist everywhere. I trust Flare because it's designed by women, for women. These people know what you're going through. They've had this problem. Runaway Highway Ramp If you've ever been on a road trip, odds are you've seen one of these signs before. Runaway Truck Ramp, it reads, but do you understand how they exactly work? It's a pretty simple idea. A driver who has lost control of a semi can't simply keep rolling down the hill. That would likely cause you to fly right off the edge of a cliff somewhere. Instead, when semi-trucks brakes have failed, they enter the runway road that eliminates the need for brakes. At the end of the runaway is a steep hill inclined enough to efficiently stop a runaway semi. Both the cargo and the driver are saved. Good thing you decided to wear brown pants that day to work, huh? While they're called something else in different countries, they all work the same. There should be one of these at the bottom of any extreme incline or decline. Countries like the UK even utilize sand and gravel on the roads to add more friction and stopping power. While no one is certain who built the first runaway ramp or when experts believe the 60s is when they started to expand around the globe as semi-truck drivers kept flying off the sides, something had to be done to fix the problem. In 1981, an NHTSA report said that there had been 2,450 runaway truck incidents, with 2,150 of those involving the use of ramps. They're clearly working as intended. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Plastic Eating Bugs Plastic is both a miracle invention and a doomsday material. Since it never breaks down, plastic just sits in landfills, with a tiny amount of it being appropriate for recycling. All in all, humans have to do something about this plastic problem before it's too late. Otherwise, we all might be living in a plastic world in the future. While researching how to efficiently reduce plastic waste, scientists accidentally discovered a mutant enzyme that breaks down plastic bottles. The breakthrough could greatly aid in the global plastic pollution crisis by enabling, for the first time, the full recycling of bottles. The discovery was first revealed in 2016. They had learned of a new bacterium that had naturally evolved to consume plastic. While the enzyme still does require a few days to start working properly, a few days is better than the centuries it takes to break down in the oceans, not to mention the number of animals it's killed in the process. Experts hope that by using this enzyme to turn plastic back into its original components, we can literally recycle it back to plastic. It means we won't need to dig up any more oil and fundamentally it should reduce the amount of plastic in the environment. Hey, if we start moving away from throwing all our plastic away in the oceans and landfills, it's a win-win. Mm -hmm. High-rise fish farms. For many countries that are incredibly tight on space, they're forced to build upwards. Unfortunately, no space also means less food being produced on farms. In Singapore, they've developed a solution to bring locally produced fish to everyone's dinner table. Within reason, of course, the state-of-the-art facility can produce up to 3,000 tons of hybrid grouper, coral trout, and shrimp each year, which is six times higher than established aquaculture operations in the nearby Southeast Asian city-states. Each floor of the high-rise will include two 1,435-square-foot tanks supplied by fresh seawater. Before the water enters the area with the fish, it goes through many processes like filtering and purifying. While the fish are hybrid and born in the building instead of the sea, experts attempt to make it as much like the ocean as they can. Not that the fish would know any better, they want to keep the fish as close to its ocean-dwelling cousins as possible. <laughs> Orange electricity. While the air is certainly a bit sweeter when these oranges blossom when it comes time for them to fall from the tree, it makes a big old mess. So a team of researchers set out with the goal to turn these oranges into something usable so that when the time comes for them to fall again, they'll have a better, more sustainable purpose. When some fruit ferments, it releases methane into the environment. Instead of letting the oranges rot and pollute the earth even further, scientists are now gathering their methane of gas and turning it into electricity. Orange electricity? Who'd have guessed? The municipal water company in charge of the process says it will need about $200,000 as an investment from the government before they're effectively starting to harvest the oranges. The goal is to recycle 100% of the oranges the city produced for green, sustainable energy. If that doesn't give you a sense of how we can advance into a green world, then I don't know what could. <laughs> Recycled bricks. 
Nzambi Mati, a Kenyan woman, has invented something remarkable that could change the lives of so many people in the country, turning one of the world's biggest problems into one of its most outstanding solutions. She's an inspiration for all. As you well know by this point, plastic is a significant problem the world must somehow solve and saw fast. Taking what was considered junk, she transformed the plastic into recycled bricks for home and school buildings. This will significantly increase life for so many people there once they get a home of their own. It stands stronger and sturdier than traditional bricks, so don't worry that they might fall over. This very well could be a new construction revolution in which people can afford lovely, sturdy, warm homes made quick from cheap and sturdy materials. Since the bricks are made from junk, the costs are wildly low compared to traditional homes. I can't think of another situation in which a win-win is the result. We should all try thinking out the box about the problems that we all share. Getting dumps of plastic from local packaging plants for free, the brick makers have plenty of product. The plastic makers even have a place to dump their byproduct without destroying destroying the planet. Mixing in sand creates various paving stones after the plastic polymer is heated and mixed. It won't be long before this new method makes its way across the globe, with the intent of ending homelessness for good. <laughs> Mind Reading Alter Ego This invention is mind-boggling, both literally and metaphorically. Dubbed Alter Ego was a non-invasive, wearable, peripheral, innovative neural interface that allows humans to converse in their native tongue with machines, artificial intelligence, and even other people without ever making a noise with their mouths. This is telepathy communication, but with the added benefit of talking to machines as well. Guess that'd be nice for a robot apocalypse. They simply articulate the words in their brains and others wearing linkable devices can hear and understand. The feedback to the user is given through audio via bone conduction without disrupting the user's usual auditory perception. In other words, the individual wearing the device receives the sound from the inside and translates it into their brain rather than from the traditional outside through the ears and into the brain. Using this type of communication, no one can hear besides the two wearing the devices. All the while, they can still hear everything going on outside the world around them. Speaking, on the other hand, are audible sounds everyone can hear. This enables a human-computer interaction that's subjectively experienced as entirely internal for the human user. Those that have tested the hardware say that it's like talking to yourself soul and it's speaking back. The primary focus of the project is to help support communication for people with speech disorders. Beyond that, the system has the potential to seamlessly integrate humans and computers. For instance, computing, the internet, and AI would weave into our daily life as a second self and augment our mental cognition and ability. While this is still a long time from general population applications, they're making astounding strides in the right direction. Who's excited for one of these? <laughs> The Sound Shirt now you can literally feel the music with this shirt. The Sound Shirt is a haptic wearable that allows deaf users to feel the music on their skin. Amazing, right? Designed by fashion tech company Cute Circuit, the Sound Shirt brings music to a broader audience of people. The state-of-the-art shirt boasts about 30 actuators embedded into the very fabric of the shirt. These tiny haptic points translate sound into tactile language, unique for every type of song being played. People that have never before heard music can now enjoy all of its benefits. One user cried the first time she used it. It, the music was pure beauty to her. There's no need for wires or charging when it comes to this smart shirt. Instead, all pathways within the garment are composed of woven conductive textiles. While it can certainly help maintain people and allow them to feel the music live like never before, the cost puts it in an area of tech that only the richest can afford. The shirt costs a whopping $3,712. While it's great the company is trying to help people, the price point is a little insane. <laughs> Be wise, be home. The world needs bees. They're vital to many of our ecosystems in agriculture. Without them, most of the world's food would never grow again. Unfortunately, they're endangered and being attacked by everything, from humans to murder hornets. If we want to keep them living the way that we have been for all these years, it's one of the utmost important things that we can do to protect these little sensitive creatures. Bees think everyone should have bees and know how to take care of them. They invented the Be Wise Bee Home for this very reason and it landed on Time Magazine's Top 100 Inventions list of 2020. While it certainly sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, these bee homes are as real as they can get. Nearly 40% of domestic bees are killed per year because of disease, climate change, and other predators. The bee home seeks to make beekeeping as simple as our smart devices. Using its incredible robotics and AI, it can tell when bees are sick or getting attacked. The robots 
plants thus supply medicine or defense for the bees. You don't even have to do anything, aside from clean out the honey from time to time and make sure your population is thriving. This partnership between humans and bees could be the last remaining thread in their survival. So we must all do our part in keeping them alive. <laughs> Full body exoskeleton. We're living in some incredible times. We finally get mech suits. While it may be some time before Gundam Wing becomes a reality, Sarko's Robotics has produced the Guardian Exo, a suit so versatile it can assist the driver with lifting heavy loads up to 200 pounds. We really are moving into the future at a rapid pace. In addition to lifting, the suit can assume the squat position, allowing the driver to rest as if sitting in a chair. This works exceptionally well for projects that require you to be bending down a lot. Remember, this is the first working version. It can only get better and more efficient from here. Sarkoz is already hard at work trying to develop version 2.0. The implications these robots pose for the future of the workforce are good ones. Tesla's Haptic Feedback Suit Like the haptic suits from the novel and film Ready Player One, Tesla is making a haptic suit that could change the future of gaming, specifically VR, a full-body suit in which you can feel everything. Not sure how that'll play out in the real world, but I'm excited to test it out. Haptic's feedback is simply the use of vibration to convey another layer of information to the user. In VR, haptic feedback simulates the senses in things like the kick from a pistol or the bone-crunching punches from a fight. To put it lightly, once VR finally realizes this haptic sensation across the entire body, video games and VR will be on a whole different level than today's iterations. The human sense of touch is arguably the most vital sense of all, allowing the human mind to escape into a reality where the feeling is still present. Video games up to this point have always had a form of disconnect. That is, you never really feel bad for anything going on in them. Immersing yourself into the worlds with haptics like this would provide very different results and very different game and narrative design. Not sure how that would feel with a zombie biting someone's neck, but hey. Sound beaming audio. The outside world can be loud. Heck, living in your house can sometimes be loud too. But don't you wish that every once in a while you can just fade away into your own personal sound bubble? If so, you aren't alone. And I've got good news, now you can. Not only can you not hear the sound of those around you, but they can't hear the sound within your bubble. That's the possibility presented by a new technology called sound beaming. The hyper-futuristic audio technology, the brainchild of Noveto Systems, an Israeli company, is nothing short of amazing. Real test users claim using the device is like something out of a science fiction movie. The sensation of the 3D audio feels so close, it's like it's inside your ears, while also in front, above, and behind them. The system creates ultrasonic waves just outside your ears, forming a 3D sensory listening experience with privacy and without disturbing others. No speakers, no headphones, no wires required. It all comes from a little device that produces projects to your head. Until now, there have been two ways to hear audio out loud and via speakers or quietly and privately with headphones. Novetto seeks to make sound beaming the third type. Artificial Clouds Skywater The app name WeDo is a fantastic machine seemingly making water out of thin air. The energy-efficient technology harvests fresh water from the air and within the confines of a shipping container for easy maneuverability and relocation. The genius invention can generate 2,000 liters of water per day by combining cold and hot air to force condensation. This, in essence, is how clouds are formed and where they get their inspiration in their design. The plan is to build many of these and deliver them to areas where fresh water is hard to come by. That could mean third world countries or natural disaster zones. Either way, these fantastic machines will surely redefine how we go about gathering water in the future. When water is at its lowest point in history, these genius machines may be more vital than ever. After all, more fresh water exists in the atmosphere than all the rivers on Earth combined, and this is the first time we're tapping into this vital source of life. Well, you have to start somewhere, I suppose. Hmm. <laughs> Sustainable smartphones. We've all done it once or twice. When the following year's version of a smartphone is released, you ditch the old one for the upgrade. While consumers certainly enjoy it, the planet can't stand it. Today, it's one of the largest sources of trash generation. As we move forward into this green world, sustainable smartphones will be the one issue that needs to be fixed right away. Using fair materials meant to last a long time and modular support, you can swap out components for a speed boost rather than dumping money into a whole new phone and wasting the past one. Therefore, the shell of the phone can be changed in multiple configurations, with different options of components for every type of consumer out there. Just use your phone for text. Why would you need a superpower AI chip? If you're a gamer, maybe you'd opt for the Beastie chip. Either way, there are options for everyone. 
Since the phone's housing will be reused with upgraded parts, the manufacturing, thus CO2 emissions, is brought way down. We've still got some work to do before these products land in the hands of most people. Flare Personal Safety Bracelet Tools like pepper spray and tasers are pretty antiquated when it comes to personal protection. Sure, they work remarkably well, but not without consequence. Hence, the birth of the Flare Personal Safety Bracelet was designed to look like a typical everyday bracelet. However, if danger finds you, one quick press of a button on the jewelry and you'll receive a piercing call asking for help. It acts as a quick escape excuse that gets you out of there fast. If the danger persists, holding the button automatically sends your location to five emergency contacts and warning them of the danger you're in. You can even transfer that information directly to 911 or the police. As of now, it requires tethering to your phone, but a new self-contained system is being developed as we speak. China's Super Maglev Train When planes came into the picture, trains in many countries were considered archaic. Years later, we realize how wrong we were and should have been developing this tech for much longer. As of now, we're severely behind in the train technology field. Countries like Japan and China are exemplifying this idea with their stellar applications throughout the countries. With maglev technology on the verge, trains will be able to travel at incredible speeds with little maintenance due to their magnetic floating nature and with a cheap cost of admission for all the customers. This is the future of travel and one that can be built under the seas and bridge gaps never before realized. China has recently unveiled its version of the bullet train prototype that engineers say can reach 385 miles miles per hour. Dubbed the Super Bullet Maglev train, it boasts more than twice the Eurostar fleet speed and could travel between London and Paris in a mere 47 minutes. Man, there are some intelligent people out there inventing some fantastic things, wouldn't you agree? Some even with enough power to change the world for the better. As we continue to move forward into the unknown, it's good to know that people are working hard worldwide to solve its many problems and bring about significant change for all of us. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox. Mm -hmm.